Question 52. Show that e raised to x and e raised to minus x are linearly independent solutions of y double dash minus y equal to 0 on any interval. So first, let's write down the given. y1 of x equal to e raised to x, y2 of x equal to e raised to minus x. Now first we first we will prove that this is a solution e raised to x and y1 double dash is equal to e raised to x. So that means y double y1 double dash minus y. So before that let me just So let write down the equation y double dash minus y equal to 0. Let this be equation 1. Now, so here uh, when we are uh, using 1, using 1, we see y1 double dash minus y is equal to 0 y double dash minus y equal to 0. So here e raised to x, sorry. So when we substitute e raised to x minus e raised to x equal to 0, 0 equal to 0. So on substitution we see that it satisfies y1 satisfies this differential equation. So this is a solution. Similarly y2 dash is equal to minus e raised to minus x and y2 double dash is equal to e raised to minus x so minus minus positive so uh, we we he see here also e raised to minus x minus e raised to minus x is equal to 0 0 equal to 0 these two are solutions so since these two equations uh, satisfies this differential equation on substitution it reduces to identity so these two are solutions now we have to see whether these two are independent solution we can use Ronskin uh, to check if Ronskin is not equal to 0, we can say that these solutions are independent solution. So here e raised to x, e raised to minus x, e raised to x minus e raised to minus x. So it gives minus 1 minus 1 that is equal to minus 2 so Ronskin uh, is not equal to is a constant and is not equal to 0 for any interval uh, for any x in any interval uh, so we can say that uh, these two functions uh, therefore uh, for any interval minus in infinity is not equal to 0 uh, uh, so we can say that y1 y y1 x and y2 x are linearly independent so these two are solutions and they are linearly independent we uh, now we have to uh, ah okay so this is the solution to question 52 We first proved that these two are solutions and then we showed these two functions are linearly independent using the Ronskin. Solution to question 52.